Hovitec. Just a button away. In this tutorial, I will explain how to fix the SMS timeout issue on the ZTE and ZLT MiFi dashboard. For this guide, um, I use the MF927U, which is a ZTE MiFi, and the ZLT M30S. Now, the problem is that when your inbox gets too full and you try to check your SMS, it just keeps spinning until it times out and then logs you out. So you can't even check your SMS. Now, um, a very quick fix is for you to just reset the MyFi. You can locate the reset pin on the MyFi, insert the pin for about 8 seconds and that clears the MyFi. But that sometimes doesn't clear the SMS on certain kinds of MyFi, alright? So for the ZTE, for example, we already have a guide on the ZTE link method which requires you to install an app to your phone and then you can connect to the MyFi from the app and then clear the SMS. But that manner is for the ZLT my files at the moment so that's what this guide is kind of about so if you don't want to reset your my file using the reset pin i usually just want to learn this article for research purposes then you'll find this guide helpful although it's kind of technical and a bit lengthy all right so here's the principle uh, first you have to connect to your my file device all right and then you have to install web spy it's a chrome extension I make sure I have that installed. Now, when you have that installed, you log into your MyFi dashboard. We can work from the home screen. So you can tap your function F12 or Control Shift I to launch your Dev Tools, and then you click on this arrow, this um, chevron, and then you click on Spy. So this is going to be giving you a log of all the requests being made. So I'm going to I'll re log in. So the first thing um, I'm going to do is to check my SMS. So here's what the command looks like. Um, this is for the ZTE, this is for the ZLT. I'm connected with ZLT. So I'll show you that. Although I will drop all these commands, don't, don't worry about it. I'll just demonstrate using the ZLT. So this is the command for fetching your SMS list. So I'll just copy that to this notepad. Now this is a get request. This is the URL we are sending it to. These are the headers, all right? So to get the headers for your own device, although it should largely be the same, maybe apart from the user agent, you don't have to panic. Just click on any of these items on this list and then you can just copy the um, user agent, or the request rather, the request headers from there, and then you paste. All right, so let us um, now get the list of SMS. So you just click on this, um, let me show you what the command looks like just for just for just to give you an idea it looks something like this all right so um, now I'm going to run the command so all right, so um, to run the command, just click on this new button, and then um, we are running a we are running a get request. This is what it looks like. So a get request to this URL. and this header because you can grab the header from any of these items on the list here and then you send all right so this is going to give you a list of sms's so what you're interested in is the list of sms ids you have here so now that takes me to the second command which is um, deleting um the sms so um, the command to run is this. I'll, I'll provide all these commands, don't worry. I'll explain what makes up the commands. So the command to delete is something like this. So I'll just... All right, so this is the URL it's going to. This is the header and this is the body. 
So um, this body uh, you see here between this and this percent three B not call back equals to true. Everything you see here is just a list of IDs separated by percentage three B. So from this example now I have ID 163 and 162. All right. Then after the ID is separated by the percent 3B, you have another um, separator here and then and not call back equals to true. So what I want to get is a list of IDs, um, but you can, you, you, you need to get the header. All right. Just so you are sending everything correctly. That's very easy to do. So what you can just do is go under your phone book. For example, you can either create or delete any of your phone book records. I will just close this quickly. So let's say I want to delete this or you can create if you want. I just want to delete this. And you can see this post request. So I will disconnect and focus on it. All right. So I'll just copy the requests from here. The request headers, I mean. And then I replace here. So the only thing you need to change here is this content length type um i'll show you how to get the correct one all right um so down to the command so i have my uh, i i forgot to copy my um id uh, my list of um sms id so i'm going to run that command once again um to get the list of sms ids So um, a get requests and have to reconnect of course. This is why I disconnected was because I needed everything to stop, you know, um, to stop reading the request so I could easily click. So I want to get the SMS list once again because I didn't copy them out the other time. So. I will just rerun this command headers. All right, so I have one seventy nine, so I will just write them out here. I have one seventy nine, and um, I'll use the separator. If you have way more than this, let's say ninety something, there are ways you can programmatically sort this outcome this output into a list of an array of ids or something if you need help with that you can reach out to us but be just for demo purposes if you're a developer you would know how to um, do all of that so 178 another separator 175, 174, 173, one, okay, 173, then separator, 173. So I have 179, 178, 176, 175, 174, 173. These are the list of IDs. So I will just replace what I have here. And just before this percent 3B here, um, just before this percent 3B over here, I will then paste them. All right, so this is what my request body is going to look like. So I need to get the length of this. That is how many strings there are, the, how many characters there are here. So for that, you can just go to a website that helps you do that. I, I can link to this for you. So I have 99. All right. So I'm going to come back here and I would impute um, 99 here. All right. So I'm going to run the command now. So a post request, this is going to be a post request. So I can just close this. I click here a post request to this URL. All
and this is the request header and this is the body with the list of IDs of the SMS I want to delete and then I send and then I have result success so once you just go to your SMS you find out that everything is deleted so um, it's the same thing really for for the ZTE you find that the difference is just in the URL um, this is for the ZTE for example this is what it looks like the um, the target URL this is the prefix you usually have why for the ZLT it looks more like this but outside that they are largely the same thing but I'll drop it I'll drop the commands for um, checking and deleting SMS for both the ZTE and ZLT in my files so that's how to um, fix the SMS timeout issue on the ZT or ZLT my file although uh, this is very technical but this is the goal of this is for educational purposes really just to show you the principle of how any of the tools you'll be using works although we could work on automating this